Frank Gonzalez with the director of the new movie, Cold Pursuit, Hans Petter Moland. Thank you for the time. Thank you. Uh, this is a remake of a movie that you did a few years ago, but it's the American version. How do you go about reimagining something you've done before to put it in front of a new audience that may not have seen the original? Well, exactly what you said is you have to reimagine it and respect the fact that it's going to play out in a different culture, which means uh, that will change it. And, and once you do that, then it starts to take on a life of its own and you have to uh, give the, you know, set the story free, give it the liberty to, to live within a new culture and be uh, affected by uh, the particulars of that one. This is, this is a revenge movie, but it's, it's different in that there's a lot of dark humor in it. Um, and that was intentional, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, that was uh, absolutely intentional, yeah. Why? Because I think, you know, the departure point for this film is a quite tragic um, event. But within tragedies of our lives, also inadvertently when you look at it, it can very often have some humor to it, you know. It, um, all these gangsters who are taking themselves very serious uh, uh, and very often are taken very serious in film and even, you know, lionized in a way. Uh, I thought uh, it's worth to give them a glance where they're not so respectful of them necessarily as they often are treated. I like the way that there was a juxtaposition between the two uh, different drug lords. Mm -hmm. You had Viking on one side that was very animated and very much a psychopath. Mm -hmm. Yet on the other side you had White Bull who was calm, reserved, who let his men kind of have their own personalities. Um, I like the way that you developed that. Yeah, and I mean, I think it's, uh, if you have a narcissist as a boss, it does affect how your men down the line behave, you know. They're, uh, Vikings men are terrified to uh, show their personality, so they're all proper and they try to emulate his, uh, you know, his fashion, uh, etc. while uh, White Bull is confident enough in his... Uh, standing among his men that he doesn't have to impose his, his power at every, you know, uh, uh, every turn, you know. He just knows that he's respected and, and by allowing them to be who they are, um, he also shows that uh, he's a, you know, supreme leader, if you will. Ultimately, the movie's about fathers and sons and I guess the lengths a father will go to to protect his child or even take revenge for the loss of a child. Um, that, I guess, is really kind of the heart of the movie, isn't it? Yeah, it is, but it also is, uh, you know, tongue-in-cheek speaking now, uh, a bit of a cautionary tale about the really bad idea that revenge offers you as a solution to that. Uh, I think, uh, you know, Liam's character, he's named Citizen of the Year, and the first thing he does is, is go out and kill some people, says something about how the depth of the civility, and once your son's life is uh, involved, you know. Uh, so it triggers some uh, primitive instincts in us, but it doesn't mean that just because it's understandable that it's a very good idea. Tell me what happened. All right, Pops, there's the door, all right? Now, I don't know what igloo you crawled out of, but I think it's time you crawled back in. And trust me, that's your uh, best move. Ah. Oh.